What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video it's going to be a vinyl record collection update video. I got two new vinyls that I just added to collection and I wanted to do these in one video because this is one of my all time, all time favorite bands. This is like in terms of bands that I've listened to most of my life, even seen live. I've seen this band live five times and I, that's my record I think in terms of bands that I've seen multiple times. So today we're gonna talk about these two vinyls and I hope you enjoy this video and please share it down below where some of your favorite bands, some of your vinyl collections and what do you love collecting from your favorite rock bands? I would love to discuss. So let's get down to it. Roll it. <laughs> So as I said, these records are both by the same band, and today we're going to go over them. And right here, we got the first one. Right here, this is Deftones, B-Sides, and Rarities. So this is a really cool record, one of my favorite albums by them. And this is a compilation album of acoustic songs, live songs, and very, like I said, rarities. Rare songs that aren't on any of their studio albums or anything like that. So let's go over this bad boy. There's the back two. It's just kind of the plain black. I like it how it's the plain black, but the problem is like when I touch it, I'm like, oh my God, I could see my fingerprints everywhere. I hate my oily skin. But <laughs> now we're going to look at the records. Let's show off the records real quick, and then I'll show you the inside as well. Just black, kind of black records. This is kind of cool. Boom, 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 boom. So we have, let's see, side one has Sinatra on it. Then we have No Ordinary Love. Teenager, the idiot version. Then we have Crenshaw Punch, I'll Throw Rocks at You, and Black Moon. That's actually side two, my bad. Side one is Savory, Wax and Wayne, which is a really good song. I love Wax and Wayne. Then there's Change, which is probably one of their most popular songs, but it's the acoustic version of it. And then their cover of Simple Man, which is beautiful, like for real. Like I know a lot of people will, of course, favor Leonard Skinner and they love that and that's the original version you know what I mean but Simple Man like oh for real like Deftones they did such a fantastic rendition of it so let's show off the inside right there boom 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 I love it how it's kind of like that grungy kind of like new metal look you know rock house we got like these pictures but they're distorted by like the red and you see Deftones all big and everything so Oh, and then to describe Deftones in terms of what kind of rock they are, they're very much new metal, but they have evolved. A lot of their new stuff is more industrial rock. They actually went through different phases and stuff like that. So that's why I love Deftones, because they're one of those bands that really evolve. And in terms of seeing them live, in my opinion, they're the band that I think sounds most like they do on their records. So this is side three. And this has If Only Tonight We Could Sleep, which is one of my favorite songs. And I believe that's a Cure cover. I believe the original song is by The Cure. Then there's Please, Please, Please Let Me Get What I Want. Digital Bath, the acoustic version. Then there's The, Sh the Chauffeur. And Be Quiet and Let Me Drive Far Away, the acoustic version. So that's what's really cool. And then the other side doesn't have any songs on it. But I love what they did with the other side. <laughs> if you could see it. That's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, this album is one of my favorites because like I said, these are so many just very rare songs that you don't see on any other albums. And like I said, acoustic songs, I really do adore. That's something that I had to kind of get into at a later age and stuff like that. I was like, well, what, what is this? Like, what, why do people do this? But then it's so cool because it's such a different version of the original song. You know what I mean? If you love the original, but then there's also an acoustic version to check out and listen to. So, yes, that's the B-Sides and Rarities. Now let's check out this next record. This is their self-titled album and this is their fourth studio album which is kind of funny because most bands they do their self-titled album it's usually their first one but this is their fourth studio album so this is their senior album and the songs on here we have side one which has hexagram needles and pins which is such a good song that's a really good song minerva that's a really good uh, uh single off this record good morning beautiful death blow when Girls Telephone Boys. That is absolutely probably my most listened to song off this record, but it's not a song for everybody. It's a very raw, like, out there song, but it's just very, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's 
hardcore and it's just in your face like it's it's weird to describe but i love it i really do love it yeah so when girls telephone boys is the song that i would recommend to listen to off this record because it's so unique it's so different and it's just in your face then side two we have battle axe lucky you bloody cape which is a really really good one anniversary of an uninteresting event and Mo uh, mona those are the songs off this record and i love this one it's beautiful like I have a t-shirt that has this on it, this cover right here. I have a t-shirt with this on it. And I kind of wanted to get a tattoo of that too at one time. That was like a tattoo that I wanted to get. This is part of your inside right here. This is really cool. It has the song lyrics and then all your information on the band, producers, all that jazz. And this record is red. Boom, boom, boom. So cool right there. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So happy to add these to the collection. It's pretty much going to spark my joy of going through and recollecting Deftones records because I used to have all their CDs. Like when I had CDs a collection, I had all of them up to, I believe, Diamond Eyes. And at that time when I was collecting CDs, it was the most newest album. So I had all their albums. But now they've done like Kono Yokin and like so many other albums since then. So they're a great band that is still going today. And like I said, their music has evolved because if you really go back and listen to their first album and then to albums now, like I said, they went from new metal and transitioned into industrial rock, into all kinds of stuff. So they're really, really a fantastic band. But thanks for sticking around with me all. I hope you all enjoyed this video of going through some awesome vinyls that I added to the collection. I said just wanted to do a really quick one. I like doing these videos because there's not as much editing to do when it comes to like some of the other stuff that I do. So it's a really smooth, smooth, chill video that we do when we do these vinyl record collections. But please like the video. It definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I drop a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.